We've heard a slew of rumors pointing to the Google Pixel 6 returning to the pair of phone sizes it's had since its inception until the Pixel 5. The most recent information comes from XDA developers, which discovered a reference to the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 XL in an official Android developer form. This confirms the rumor that the next Pixel phone will come in two sizes. Google used the XL suffix from the original Pixel up to the Pixel 6 XL, so it would make sense for it to return to that naming convention, though the Pixel 6 Pro has been thrown around the leaks and rumors arena. I've recently grown tired of having too many phones in a single handset series. There are four iPhone 12 models to choose from, as well as three Samsung Galaxy S21 handsets and two OnePlus 9 handsets. Obviously, each has its own set of advantages, but some are so similar that deciding which one to get, or in my case, recommend, is difficult to say the least. However, based on the most recent rumors and renders, the Pixel 6 Pro or Pixel 6 XL appears to be learning from Google's past and the successes of other Android phones in order to deliver a serious flagship phone that looks modern while still retaining a few Pixel design quirks. The Pixel 6 XL is expected to have a large 6.71-inch display and a single front-facing camera in the center. There don't appear to be any fiddly radar sensor parts. I'll be happy if the display matches the quality of the Pixel 5's screen but adds a 120Hz refresh rate. I enjoy using pure Android on a large screen because everything looks neat, simple, and clear, and the interaction between Google Apps without any extra third-party skin or user interface elements gets in the way of my productivity. Unfortunately, while the current crop of Android flagships offer stunning, high refresh displays, they also come with skinned versions of Android. Some are superior to others, but even my current favorite, Oppo's Color OS, has the occasional fussy element that pure Android avoids. And Samsung still has some work to do to win me over to One UI. However, a large display is only one of the benefits of a larger Pixel phone. The cameras on the XL Pro models are expected to be improved over the Pixel 5. The larger next-generation handset is expected to have three cameras, a 50-megapixel main camera, a 48-megapixel telephoto lens, and a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera. When those cameras are combined with Google's superb computational photography, the next Pixel phone could dethrone the iPhone 12 Pro Max as the best camera phone. The standard Pixel 6 is only expected to have two cameras, a 50-megapixel main camera and a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera, so as someone who enjoys zooming, I'd be delighted if the XL handset included a high-quality telephoto camera. Obviously, a larger phone requires a larger battery, and the Pixel 6 XL is expected to have a 5000 mAh battery, which is standard for a large phone these days. But what interests me more is that a larger chassis allows for better internal cooling, such as the use of vapor chambers like those found in the best gaming phones and high-end Samsung phones like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Cooling may be an issue here, as the Pixel 6 is expected to use a custom white capel chipset to deliver serious raw performance to compete with Qualcomm's high-end Snapdragon chips, so some breathing room may be required. Using this logic, I can see the larger Pixel 6 being positioned as the powerhouse handset for gamers and people who want blazingly fast phones, while the smaller phone is more suited to people who want a clean Android experience and a killer camera or two. You may be wondering, will the Pixel 6 Pro be rated as a flagship device? At $699, the Pixel 5 may not have offered enough in terms of on-paper specs when compared to the OnePlus 8T and Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. The Pixel 6 XL or Pixel 6 Pro, however, could change that, with Google returning to making full-fledged flagship phones. If the rumors are true, the Pixel 6 XL could be an impressive Android flagship that competes with the iPhone 13 and Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra while retaining some of the Pixel's design uniqueness. It could be part of Google's one-two punch, with the standard Pixel 6 aimed at the mid-range phone market and the XL model ready to compete for a spot on our list of the best Android phones. In short, I'm thrilled that Google may be resuming production of XL Pixel phones.
and if Google can produce such a flagship phone for less than $1,000, I believe the Pixel 6 XL could be a contender for phone of the year. What do you think of the Google Pixel 6 series? Please let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos every day.